creating profiles for the wings is even easier. Let's just move down and here we can see the profiles for H and I. Let's just move in or zoom in a little bit and up. OK, let's go. We're in our create. We've got shapes, line and let's start here. Go up, click, down to the end close the spline, let's change the colour say OK on that one again we're going to convert it to an editable spline open up our line into our vertices let's, in fact we can do this with all of them except the end ones go smooth there we go no one simpler than that had an extrude, add a shell, finished. Let's just convert that to an editable poly and then we'll rotate it 180 degrees. One more, there we go. It's that simple. Let's just collapse this down. Convert to editable poly. Great. Right, so we'll create the one for H. Now you'll notice that there is a little part here at the front. Um, we're going to ignore that and we'll just create um, a spline around it. So, back up, line. We'll start this time at the back, onto there, and that comes to about here close that one up ok let's come on that's it convert to an editable spline change the colour again as you can see it's more or less the same process vertices could of course hit uh, W to change that and what we want these to be is smooth and let's just reshape these a little bit and if we just drag to pull that out you can see we can adjust the thickness there let's pull that one down a bit that's better one of them two those are fine. Just yep, great. Okay, we can go into line. Let's extrude. Give it a shell. Again, we'll convert it to an editable poly, and then rotate 180 degrees. There we go. So that's both our profiles for the wings completed. We'll make a copy of these in a moment. But there is a couple more that um, we do need to do. But first of all, let's come out of here. And what I'm going to do is just select all of these, press W, and let's take them across here there we go starting off with A so select A now and all we need to do is pop it in position there and down a tad B across and just down a tad C down a tad D is there E
in there down there. F over a little bit and G. Down there we go. Um let's just bring these two chaps across. No point making them feel as though they're not part of it all. Just put that there for a moment. So the other two sections that we really have to create is the outer section of this here and also the profile of the wing there. And we can do exactly the same. So let's pop in, zoom in a little bit. All I'm doing to zoom in is just pressing my Control Alt and middle mouse key or the roller button. Okay, so got us line up we go. I'm just following this profile now. Coming into a rounded bit there. Now this is all part of the undercarriage down here, so we don't need that. Just following this profile here. Close that spline, say yes. Let's convert it to an editable spline. Come on. Convert to an editable spline, thank you. It is playing up a little bit. Vertices. Change the colour so we can see it. Makes it a little bit easier. Now, let's have a look. Um, that's fine there. I just need to say curve these here. So, in, let's smooth those. Lovely. Let's bring that one down a touch. That's fine there. This ain't working out too badly, you know. Uh, move that one up just a little bit and in a little bit. Come out of that, let's say extrude, apply a shell. We're happy with that one. Right click on it, convert to, come on, convert to editable poly. That's one done there. So now all we've got to do is the wing here. Let me just move that out of the way for a little bit. Let's go back to our create panel. Shapes, splines, line again. Start there. Up we go. There. Down to the end. We'll try and keep it in line with that vertice, vertices there. Bring that across and finish that off. Say OK. Change the colour again so we can see it. Just pop over it and convert to editable spline into our line vertices. Let's select those vertices there. And again, we're going to smooth them. So into smooth. Lovely. We're on verts. Let's just drag these two here push them across a little bit fine now this one needs to come down a tad let's try that across just do it individually move that one up this is all about playing around with them until you get the shape right just that little bit there let's take that back a little bit nope let's take it forward lovely okay move that up to line extrude add a shell then we can convert that to editable poly and that's all that done now all we need to do now is start piecing it all together at which point the system decides to crash 
so I've just had to set it up again. But, right, what I need to do now is really give these their names. Now, we've got line 4. Uh, this one is the wing base, so I'll just give it, uh, I'll call it WB. This one is connected to the fuselage, so I'll call that fuselage base, so FB. Um, then we've got this one here is H and this one here is I. Okay, doke. Let's just zoom back a little bit. Control Alt Middle Key. Now what I also need to do is just pop into reference materials, hide the reference one and now I'm going into the top viewport so if I press T go zoom and in a little bit now all our wing sections are actually here so if I just move those out move those out and what we've got there the fuselage base so if we move this over and that fits right up to the fuselage there we may need to adjust these a little bit um, the base but that goes in a little bit more goes right into that section there the base comes in and into that section up there and then we have which is that one? I let's drag both of those and pull them up so I on this side let's just take that it's about there and pull it in a little bit. I and finally H up over to there. Let's move it across. Move it over a little bit more. Then if we go into our front, we can see here that they're all over the place. So we're on I, let's pull it up move it into position there sorry that was H this is I pull that up there we've got our wing base so pull that to there then our fuselage base I'm mindful of the time now so we'll continue this in the next tutorial catch you in a moment mm -hmm.